Hello and welcome, I'm Marumba. thank you for joining me. Let's play some more Galactic Civilizations 3 as the Almost Your. Uh, we need more planets. First off, do we have any more colonizable planets? This map is actually quite small compared to uh, some of the ones that I've been playing on. Let's go check out our artifact. Oh, we gotta end our turn. <coughs> so, supportive population, two turns to go. That morale boost will be quite nice. What do we have here? Unfortunate genius, supportive population. Cool. Well, apparently we have supportive population now. Morale plus four. Cool. Allows construction of an efficiency center. We don't want these things, I think. Diplomacy. Um, political specialization. I feel like morale plus 20 is valuable and influence growth is very valuable. Gross income? Meh. Influence growth is something that's it's quite nice to have. But I kind of am on a I'm kind of on a morale kick right now. But you know what we should probably also do? Let's get some weapons. Let's just make some guns. Scare people, you know? Alright, short range constructor. Available modules four. Starbase laboratory. I think we want to start another Star base. That's a mining star base. Don't actually have the thulium. Bases are so spread out. I mean, our city, or uh, our planets. Well, we're gonna want to. Uh... Oh, look at that! I did two mining star bases just to get this stuff. Let's do some more scouting before we worry about it. And an ascension crystal. Have you head that way? I don't like to actually do that. We'll do it each turn. We'll control it. Okay, we've got a factory available. So... Alright, that was the old ship, so we only got the one upgrade. And then I think you still... No, you're fine. I do want to do some per perimeter scanners. Those are pretty useful. Um, let's go ahead and put some perimeter scanners on this ship. On this place. And starbase defense, why not? So next turn we'll be able to see a little bit far, farther out of that starbase. As far as income goes, we're losing 18 per turn. We do need a wealth planet. Pretty darn soon. So, supportive population. Let's go see how that affected us. Look at that. All of a sudden, Bad Crumble has 100 morale. So, um, let's go check that out. I want to kind of, I'm going to just, I want to take a moment to show you that the numbers are true. So, if we go to 100% manufacturing focus, look at how it says raw manufacturing plus 17.2. All right. How do we get to that number? Well, what we do is we take our population, 7. We take the colony capital, which is going to give us plus 5, so that's 12. And then we take any other research-like things that we have, which I think I took the, uh, I usually do. I don't think it's under propagation. Oh no, I haven't taken it yet. I usually take total production plus 1, because it's really, really good. Um, I think. But anyway, so we had 12, right? So how do we get to 17? Well, 12 gets multiplied by 125% because of the high approval bonus, even though it doesn't say it anywhere. Trust me, it does. I've tested it by loading new games up and stuff. Um, and then it's also getting multiplied by um, an extra bonus because of the first 10 population you get bonus production from relative to the population after that. Like, I don't know exactly what the formula is, but... Basically, we're getting even more production because of that approval bonus, which is very useful. So making a manufacturing UR, then our intimidation center. Um, basically, the way it works now, we actually have... With 7.2 approval, we have room for more population, but we do want to raise up the approval cap before we do that. So I think next to the intimidation center, let's go ahead and queue up an entertainment center. That'll give us um, a total of a lot. gonna give us a bunch of stuff all right 
That's less important than assembly, for sure. In fact, we'll even... Uh, well, it's, it's not as important as the Intimidation Center. Of course, the Intimidation Center, man, that 50% morale boost is going to be nuts. Alright, cool. Weapon systems, go! Alright, so we got our sensors. We can see pretty far, which is useful. There is some more Durantium. I'm not using the Durantium. Could do something with it. Hmm. I do not like how this thing keeps on putting ships out into the, uh, into the asteroids. That's really stupid. We're gonna move it one tile. I don't really care about the production changes. Also, when you when you move your shipyard, it doesn't do any production that turn. It's worth knowing. Just for the sake of completion, we'll go ahead and throw some other upgrades on here. We'll get our perimeter scanners, starbase defense system. And then I think we're pretty much done with these two. Trade offer from the Drengi. They want to... Okay, this is fair, he says. They want me to give them Durantium, and they will give me research specialization. I would really like if, from this screen, I could go check out my, um... If I could go check out my technology screen, but I... No. You know we tend to eat races that make us angry, right? Is there anything that we want? Like, I wouldn't mind giving him Durantium, I don't worry about that too much. <coughs> Like, if we could get some of the basic... Oh, wow, he's already got hull size medium. I'll give you Durantium for, like, just the basics, like... So if I give you Durantium and 222 credits, I can get defense systems and weapon systems. Just knocks out some ter some research for us. Is there anything else we want to throw on there? We have an extra Aurorus Arboratorum. Or... I don't quite have enough money. What if I gave you two Durantum? 50 turns. Yeah, okay. That sounds fine. Pick up some technology. So we got weapon systems, we got defense systems, we got, I don't remember, two other things. Things that we're, I knew we were going to need. Only 48 research per turn. You know what I'd like to get is I want to get that enhanced production. Let's go for planet utilization. We'll get some more weapons and stuff soon. Um, didn't I unlock the ship? I thought I unlocked the small ships. Orbital manufacturing, yeah. And we got improved logistics. And this is all we need for the medium hull size. Alright. I still want planet utilization. What did I end up doing for ideology, anyway? This screen is not very clear, like, I, I know I have some, but, like, I think I have this one, and I have this one. I don't know. It's hard, it's hard for me to tell what I've actually unlocked. I think I had that one, too. Alright, so how are we going to kill people? First off, do we have a cool ship? Core ships, they have given us, um... 
a packet ship. It's our trade ship, okay. It's given us the build Mark II, Seed Mark II, the Probe Mark II. Apparently we don't actually have any decent weapons, so it hasn't generated a ship for us. It's kind of surprising, actually. I mean, we can make... Make a ship with lasers. Like if we wanted to have just something with some lasers on it, but... I don't know, I feel like... Until you get the ability to do invasions, like... Going to war with other other civilizations is kind of silly. Because you can't actually kill them. You know? That is a mining base. And it looks like they are up here. How does everyone feel about me? Iconian Refuge is friendly. Karen Alliance is warm. Cax Collective. Snathy. The Drengen are cordial. Everyone's pretty friendly, considering we're, like, supposed to be evil machines. And the Snathy, um... Snathy, I want you to give me your class... Class whatever it is, planet. Class 17, perfect planet. Immune to culture flip. Yeah, we're gonna need to conquer you. But if we attack, we'll be like warmongers. Breath of fresh air. 25% range to all ships in fleet. Well, that's not particularly useful. I'm not gonna worry about exploring that little edge. Guess we're heading back that way now. Okay, so planet utilization, three turns to go. How are we doing on some of the constructions? Homeworld is about to knock out an entertainment center, and turn and then an entertainment center. So we've got our intimidation center. Approval's at 12 now. That's pretty good. After we knock this thing out, we will have three plus one. So we're gonna get two from the structure itself, two from the bonuses. Actually it says level two, but it's gonna be level three. We're gonna have two plus three. We're gonna have five morale from this. Which is then going to get multiplied by the intimidation. We're going to have a, just a crap ton of morale. That's what we're going to have. We probably... Uh, we'll, we'll see. I don't know if we actually need that second approval. We might, though. Because the, the population cap is quite high. Yeah, we'll build it. Bad crumble. Working on its intimidation center. Cool. You're making your manufacturing your... Seems fine. Belzeb the second Fusion Matrix. Okay, yes, we do need that. Doing some pretty good research on this planet. Got the pods. This would be a pretty good research planet. Uh, let's see, approval, six out of eight. Hmm. I think I want to turn this into a research planet. That's just a reminder for me so that I don't forget that that was the plan. Um, like, we do want the manufacturing yore, but eventually we might want to replace those. Let's get a research yore. And a research yore. The food doesn't matter. I don't know why I'm looking at it. Crowell's at six. We have a population of 8. Population cap is 26 already. Holy crap. Um, I guess it's really high on every planet, isn't it? So we are going to need some approval-based structures, but the research stuff... I think we're going to end up getting rid of the manufacturing yard at some point, putting an intimidation center right here, and then we're going to want an approval boosting structure. So we'll put a entertainment center here, and eventually these are two going to get replaced. Either we either we do intimidation center morale, or intimidation center, and then another research to go next to the fusion matrix. Yeah, you have quite a bit of production already. Plus three to approval. 
Oh, I think I know what is going to go there. Approval's already at 100%, but this will allow us to build a lot more pop on there. Alright, cool. Next next turn. Let's keep going. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try to power through some turns. I have a tendency to slow down the later into the game that it gets, you know? It happens. These short-range constructors can't do too much. Didn't actually tap that Durantium. Economic, economic. If I put it right here, though, we can build a base right here and actually just make it into a mining base. Alright, so we got all that Durantium. And you... I would like to get some, some perimeter scanners on this base. Pirate ship there. Ooh, advanced starbase defenses. We'll keep on knocking out constructors and just upgrading the starbases for a bit. I don't think there's really that many more planets that can be settled. Um, not within range, not easily. There might be some out here. I should really be scouting that. Do we have, um... Maybe a ship stationed here. Six moves. Let's go scout up that way. Oh, gosh. You have such horrible vision. I want to I wanna build a scout ship. We need a scout. Take the core. It's got strange names for them. The probe. There we go. Uh, we're gonna use the the probe. 27 out of 28. What the, what's nice is that if you get upgrades that like increase the ship capacity, it automatically upgrades the ships for you. I just want to check and make sure that this thing makes sense. Hyperdrive plus, environmental support, and interstellar sensors. Sure. That's pretty much exactly what I would have made. So yeah. Um you will build a probe mark two. And that probe mark two costs 39 and you're getting 37.6. That's silly. Let's see if we can grab just a tiny bit more production from Livius maybe. Probe Mark II in one turn. Yep. Now it's got 40. That's good. And what are you making? 153 manufacturing per turn. You're knocking out a constructor every turn. That's pretty good. Alright, cool. Next turn. And that means that we can probably park this guy into another spot. So now we got a faster ship with uh, five sensor range instead of, like, two, whatever that thing was. Faster, with better sensors, and it's probably got better range. We need another one? Nah, I can really only reach that far. That's good. That's fine. We'll just make the one, and then we'll have it go back to constructors. Alright, cool. Probably want to mine that Durantium as well. Lots of star bases. I feel like star bases are really cheap and well worth it. Like this, this star base only costs one credit. It's not much. Alright, cool. Well, I'm going to take a break here. I look forward to seeing you in the next video, as always. Thank you for watching, everyone. See you soon.